In this video, is obviously take a listen on question one. Um, it's all about the statistics. The question one novella la from this mid-year exam. Um, got two thousand and twenty-two in the description box. Uzo tolama links for other videos you want record it for the question paper. So la go question one again. Basi pe if a table basi pa nama frequencies si nama classes. The classes are represented ama ma ama masses, right? And then you have number frequency on the second column, and then the table below shows the mass in grams of the school bags of eighty learners, right? So but at ama learners I eighty, but at ama bags wa ba inzani ba wa ba wa weya, and then they recorded the table. Lau one point one, but to write down the modal class of the data. So now I'm a frequency table and uh, funa e modal class. You look for the class with the highest frequency. The class with the highest frequency, it's the modal class. And so she has with the e mode, ile logans, ile data set a e, is pinda pinda, right? Now I'm going 15 of a name with data, yako, that's your mode. But Lana, with frequency, we speak of something called the modal class. So the modal class, you know. It's the one with the highest frequency. Motor talk begala. Twenty-one is the highest frequency, and then it means our modal class one nine to eleven. Nine to eleven. One point two. Complete the frequency column in the table in the answer book. Complete the cumul the cumulative frequency column. In the answer book, you told us this. Yes. You told us this table. Now, cumulative frequency column of a kulmanga. What's it get a little, right? So, your cumulative frequency here to now six, six. The first row, the frequency and the cumulative frequency are as over the same. Then, see eta diagonal. Lo six, u eight, u eta lo eighteen. You told us eighteen plus two, that's twenty four. So, it's twenty four, Lana. 24 plus 21 that's 45 45 plus 19 um 64 64 plus 11 that's 75 75 plus 9 79 and then 79 plus 1 that is 80 so now cumulative frequency that's why you need to add diagonal Eta diagonal. Answer it all out. You pala um, horizontal. Eta diagonal. Answer it all out. You pala horizontal. So now you cumulative frequency column here to field. 1.3. Draw a cumulative frequency graph or the or give for the given data on the grid provided in the answer book. So now grid here too. So when we plot a cumulative frequency, we know that we seven sa ini, we seven sa lama n points lawa, right? Gu 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 lama classes wa ko we plota lama lugansi la, lama lama n points gu ma ranges wa ko, right? Gu lama class and then against what the cumulative frequency. So it's the cumulative frequency and then the mass in gram. So so plot out seven against to six, nine against to twenty seven, eleven against to forty five, thirteen, so on and so on. Right? As telling us seven to six. So this is five. Remember, this is the mass. Mass is on the x axis and then on the y axis is total frequency, accumulative frequency. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in between or let me say each line each line is representa one gram right so we now for now seven so it's five six seven and then against the bar six and then going up in counter in terms of two so it's two four six eight ten so lana is seven two four six voila voila Voila, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, at the end is so, at the end is so, okay, this is the grid five, six, seven, two, 
246 the point and then 9 against 24 9 24 20 2 4 and then 11 or 45 11 and 45 40 2 4 44 45 for somewhere la somewhere la and then 13 or 64 13 and 64 um let's see let's see let's see let's see 11 12 13 or 64 60 2 4 now 64 and then let's see one of 15 or 75 15 or 75 2 4 5 and then 7 or 17 against 79 16 17 79 uh, 79 now 79 somewhere here and then see one on 19 and no 80 19 to 80 here we go here we go here we go so our cumulative frequency graph is when the so is when the so something like this something like this and then lago 5 is taller body zero then lago 5 is taller body zero zero so this is our curve 1.3 and then see I go 1.4 like 1.4 but in again 1.4 use the graph to determine the median class for this data so it's for the median class using a graph here the median class as we see as with the median it's the number is it all in the middle and we are born with the Accumulative frequency at the go zero, it pale go bani go eighty. So the median we taller between u zero no bani no eighty, um or halfway through between u zero no eighty. Um, if that's the case, it means the median here to see taller go bani go forty. If it was from zero to twenty, we say taller go ten. If it was zero to say 50 but so it will go 25 but it's 0 to 8 it's in a it will go p go 80 i mean go 40 so therefore we draw a line from 40 to this point lana on the graph and then i draw back and i get i bring it down i bring it down i bring it down boom i bring it down so the median class is somewhere lagu um it's not in. the median class is somewhere lagu 10 point i'm sure lana it's one lana it's one we know that with the lana it's one it's one it's on much it's one two three four so it's 15 so lana it's 10 point somewhere 10 point5 or 10 point6 around those do, do, around those numbers so answer it is not in some it 10.5 gram this is the median mass yes this is our median mass all right 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 now this is a la means uh, okay see I'll go 1.5 1.5 but the international guidelines for the mass of a school bag is that it should not exceed 10 percent of a learner's body mass okay okay go 1.5.1 but you calculate calculate the estimated mean mass of the school Backs. okay it's an easy one x bar x bar okay the ilo guy e, e mean mass of the school bags this is a frequency table so in order to calculate e mean mass yako in order to, cal to calculate e mean mass this is what you have to do uh utata your frequency you multiply by the midpoint of e mass 
right? The midpoint of a mass. What's the midpoint between O5 and O7? It's definitely 6. What is the midpoint between O7 and O9? O10. Let me show you. I think it combis. I think combis. I think combis. Let me show you. I think Kulumangan. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. That's why I think it is 6. And then the midpoint between 7 and 9, 7 plus 9 is equal to divided by 2, the midpoint of 8. So there's no need to go to 7 calculator. You just check, okay, there's a missing number between 9 and 11, 1 and 10. So therefore, you multiply by 10 and 21 la 12 plus times 19 lana 14 times 11 so on and so on right so for the first row for the first row give about 60 6 6 times 6 6 times lo 6 lo between 05 no 7 for the second row 18 times 8 for the third row 21 times 10 plus 19 times 12 uh, plus 11 times 14 plus 4 times 16 uh, plus 1 times 18 1 times 18 is the last one and then we divide by 80 the cumulative frequency the cumulative frequency right over there's 80 learners being surveyed all right as you calculate take this one so give about six times six plus 18 times eight plus 21 times 10 plus 19 times 12 plus 11 times 14 plus four times 16 plus 1 times 18 divided by 80 our answer is our answer is in two decimal places um, 10.68 so it's 10.68 kilograms right so the x bar is equal to 10.68 kilogram now for the final answer what if the mass of this group of learners was found to be um, 80 gram right 80 kilogram 80 kilogram the mean mass of this group of learners was found to be 80 kilogram meaning me okay bakulumangani the mean mass of the group of learners not the bags but bakulumanga the learners the mean mass of of lama learners is 80 kilogram on average are these school bags satisfying the international guideline with regard to mass? So for this one, pendulala, right? pendulala. But the international guideline of the mass of a school bag is that it should not exceed 10% of the learner's body mass. What is 10% of 80 um, of 80 gram? 10 divided by 100 times 80 is what um, is 10 is 10 kilogram so because i would the nothing is school bag for a learner must not exceed 10 kilogram is it is it 10 wait 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 oh it's 8 not 10 10 divided by 100 times 80 yes it's eight not a hundred lake low zero cancel allo zero low zero cancel allo zero one divide by one it's one times one times eight that's eight not ten it's eight la. not ten but eight grams right eight grams eight grams check again now this nothing Elena must not carry a bag according to our international guideline must not carry a bag that exceeds 8 kilogram which is 10 percent of a learner's body mass as check the mean 
the mean estimated mean of the mass of a school bag is what is 10 kilograms so therefore we can see that to eight uh, eight eight um, okay big 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 it exceeds it exceeds it exceeds Lamak bag about our way on the survey, but look at it's 10.68 kilogram. But the international standard says the learner must carry only 8 kilograms. So it means I'm a bag about carry Lavantuana. They are heavy, they exceed the stipulated international guideline for my school bags. So now Lavantuana, Lavava. Aba patama beka makulu, aba sindayo, suba begile, suba begile, nzo limala bantuwa, nzo limala man. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Okay, anyway, 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 anyway. Lana, 1.5.2 was our last question. You just had to motivate the answer yako la. Yavon, you just had to motivate the answer yako. So Lana, it's our last question. I hope you enjoy the question. Um... In the description box is a ton of links for other videos you want record enjoy you can show support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel um yeah now i'm question as cool in the comment section as well so for now guys i spawn on the next video bye bye